Hello and welcome to this episode of Unreal Life. My name is Ramacasio and today we're going to talk about the 142 ways that the jaw jacker can totally improve. Totally kidding. We are not going to talk about 142 ways. Don't go anywhere. We're going to talk about the five ways that the jaw jacker can improve your ice fishing game. Stay tuned. Hey, if you're unfamiliar with the jaw jacker, it's basically a hook setting tip up with that's battery operated that jigs for you. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about when I say a hook setting um, tip up, what are you really doing with your life? No, I'm just kidding. So this is basically it here. And the idea is it's got a rod holder. You load it up. It's got these little bands. It's got that little loop on it. Okay, and with the little loop hooks into the end like this, so it stays loaded. It's got tension on it. And basically the idea is when a fish bites, sets this trigger off, boom, it sets off like a mouse trap and sets the hook for you. And then you reel in the fish. Comes with three different types of wheels for different jigging patterns. Really light, really slow to a more of aggressive jig. And that's basically the jaw jacker. So guys, let's get right into it. Um, as you know, during the ice fishing season, the days get shorter. So when you get out there, you wanna maximize your opportunities and maximize your, maximize your time to find and locate and catch fish. So the jaw jacker allows you to have a line in the water when you get to a lake, especially if it's a new lake and you don't quite know where you wanna start. So you look at the shoreline, you kind of observe the area that you wanna start in and you start drilling holes there. So you drill your first hole and you can actually put the jaw jacker in and have it jigging with the jigging base and have it fishing for you while you search the, the, for the structure that you want and the different depth that you want. So in, in other words, you can have the jaw jacker working for you while you're looking for that perfect spot. Okay, so let's get right into point number two. Once you've located that spot, you probably have uh, some sort of a tent set up or maybe you have a bunch of people with you and you need to get some rods set up. Uh, the jaw jacker allows you to have a, a line in the water and maximize the time that you have fishing while you get your gear set up and your tent set up you increase your odds and your opportunities to really catch a fish. So point number three, um, let's face it, when you're an ice fisherman, sometimes the fish get finicky and the bite can be a little bit slow and it's been a while since you've caught a fish. Um, we can be quite jumpy and anxious because we just want to get that fish on the ice. So the fish might be biting and the bite is a really slow, you know the one I'm talking about when uh, the bite is a very light bite, almost where you can't even feel it and sometimes you prematurely set the hook because you're so jumpy. I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of those days. So it's actually really good for those days when you're just not feeling it and you're just not able to get that good, good hook set. And uh, so the jaw jacker can do that for you. Hey, point number four. Hey, if you've got kids like I do, I got a couple of boys and then you want to take them out uh, ice fishing. Maybe you love ice fishing and they just like ice fishing and they don't quite love it like you do. So I, I thought this was I mean, I thought you liked me. I thought this was a dream come true it's for us. It's your dream. You can't force a dream onto someone else, Dad. Yes, I can. I can force a dream on Why you. Why are you yelling? Because it's a good dream. But hey, they've agreed to come out with you and you want to go. So you plan it out and uh, maybe it's quite cold that day. You bring some hot chocolate. You've brought the tent. Uh, the jaw jacker is actually really good because especially when it's cold out, I find that the kid's attention span can be uh, quite low and um, after about 10 minutes of jigging they're like they want to do something else so the beauty about the jaw jacker is you can actually have the rods their rods set up ice fishing for them while they have a snowball fight or they build a snowman or whatever the nice thing is they're out with you and they're enjoying the outdoors so i'm going to show a clip here this is a video we did uh, with my kids it was called kids love jaw jackers you can check that out here on our channel my son's doing an intro and he says that if if we don't catch a fish today sorry no video and then of course it couldn't have been more perfect timing he starts to walk away and bing there goes the jaw jacker and he reels in a fish so 
I encourage you, if you have kids and you're thinking about buying the jaw jacker, check it out. It's a great tool to get kids in, in, out enjoying the uh, ice fishing with you. All right, so my last and final point, point number five, is the jaw jacker can be used as an attractor. And what I mean by that is um, you might have a rod set up that's got something like that, a flasher set up on it. Now here in British Columbia, where I'm at, you're only allowed one rod in the, uh, in the water at a time. Um, even when you're ice fishing. So if you have a rod in the jog jacker with a hook, it counts as one rod. Now, if I'm fishing in a hole, I've got the jaw jacker with a dummy flasher. So there's no hook, there's just the attractor. I can have that set up jigging for me as an attractor for fish. Meanwhile, I have my main line that has a hook. That is totally legitimate. You might wanna, wherever you're from, you might wanna check the regulations of whether or not that's legitimate, if you can do that. There are some provinces where you can have more than one line. In some places in the States, I'm sure you can have multiple lines, so that's probably okay, but always check your regulations before you go out and see if that's legitimate. So this really comes in handy when you're kokanee fishing. So when you're kokanee fishing, if you've fished for kokanee before, you know that they're very curious and more flash brings them in. So it's especially helpful if you're in a group of people and you're all ice fishing together because all the flash will bring them in. So when it comes to ice fishing, even if you're by yourself, so you can use the jaw jacker, set it up close by, jigging a dummy flasher all you have to do is tighten up the end so that it doesn't set off every time you have so much weight on it so that'll get attracting fish for you so it really can help to bring those fish in from a distance especially when you're fishing for for kokanee so i want to thank you for tuning in today if you found that helpful i'd love it if you subscribed uh, we got more ice fishing coming up for the rest of the season. Going to be doing a, um, a derby coming up here with a buddy of mine. After that, hopefully um, have a lake trout episode for you. And uh, if you're thinking about buying a tent, uh, we got a review on the Eskimo 650 XD as well as our thoughts on the new Flex Buddy heater. So lots more videos coming up for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.